Welcome back to the Rope Access Channel. In this video, I will teach you how to get your ropes from this to this. Let's go. In a lot of climbing courses, we are always using ropes, tying ropes, rigging ropes. And then at the end of the course, suddenly, oh, we have to clean them up. Yeah, you just do it like this. And it gets forgotten and people do it hastily. So next time you grab the ropes, they're a mess. And if you want to start your work day, it's really nice if you can just lower your ropes without them being tangled. So how do you do it? So you have your rope laid out on the floor. You put it over your neck. Then you hold on to one end, grab the other end, slide it through your finger and put it in your neck. Now you try to make this loop about arm's length. I'm, I don't have it fully stretched, but I'm not like this either. All right. And now with my left hand, I grab the rope, slide it through, make that loop. And now I've got them at the same length. I go with my right hand around the rope and put it in my neck. And I continue this left, right, left, right. And this is a fairly short rope. This is about 20 meters. So I can do it like this. If it's a 150 or 100 meter rope, then I would make the loops longer and just go single loops over my neck and try to make the loops all at the same length. So if you approach the end, you need approximately a little bit of length on the floor to tie it off. This is a little bit on the short side, but we see We'll see what happens. So I take the rope off my neck and replace my neck with my hand. I have the loose, the tail of the rope right here. I go underneath and hold it until I can grab it again. And then right now I'm going to go under and over and cross it here. So under and over. So I've crossed it on the back. I repeat that once more and then once more and now it's nice and tight and when I'm holding this rope I will pull it through and like with tying a bunny knot you pull the loop through and over and you tie it off. So if my, I have my rope like this, I can put it in the van or in the rope bag or in the, uh, in the container, hanging up on the hooks. And next time I come, I grab the rope. I, all I have to do is loosen it up a little bit, get that loop over the head, pull it through. One, two, three. And now I grab it in the middle, like so. And if I Splay it out on the floor like this, and I have my little end over here. I can throw it over the edge, and it will always be nice and neat. As you can see, I have reached the end of the rope without any tangles. If I do the same thing with a 50 or 100 meter rope, exactly the same thing will happen. If you want to learn how to do this, you can come to Industrial Klimmen. Industry Klim is the sponsor of this video and they provide me with the opportunity and access to come and film in their beautiful training venue. Industry Klim provides all kinds of different working at height related training. You can come here for your IRATA training, for your GWO training, for your basic working at heights training and complex rescue training. Today they had a fire department coming in and practice, practicing all different kinds of confined space rescues. There's a beautiful physical store next door where you can come in and test out new climbing equipment. And if you're not able to make it in person, you can visit the web store. Link will be down in the description. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, su subscribe to the channel and leave a comment on what you would like to see next. I will see you in the next one. Stay connected.